is also sick and I am here at Diamond Honda because I just picked up what I think is the first 2022 11th Gen Civic Si in California anyways. So without further ado. So after a pretty long drive, I'm almost here and headed to Ocean Honda Whittier. And the cool thing about this dealership is this is actually where I got both of the 10 Gen SIs when they first came out. So if you guys still don't know, I have two identical ones and I actually bought them from the same exact spot at the same exact time. So fast forward to 2021 and guess what? They got the 11 Gen for me. So hopefully if all goes well, lock this in. I've probably called over a hundred dealerships across the nation. Even started name dropping with some of my friends like Honda Pro and either A, they, they were already accounted for, B, they, they have a crazy markup, or C, they don't have an estimated time of arrival, which that was very important for me because I need to be first. I, I, I want to get the car, you know, be the, within the first wave of the cars that get delivered. So, um, if it gets here this week, which they say they'll get here by the 25th, November, that's perfect because I have some plans with it, uh, the second week of December. So that's why it's, I, I hope this goes through and then, uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys just yet, but second week of December car is going to get some something pretty cool pretty it was a pretty cool opportunity it's just it just depends on if i get it in time so we'll see but the, the deadline is november 30th for me to tell them whether or not i got it so uh, fingers crossed but either way finally i'm gonna try to lock it in and the only reason why i made this drive is because well they're taking care of me so Pretty good market for the new and used car dealerships, so I, I get it. But uh, at the end of the day, I also get it's, it's a Civic. So, I mean, if with some of those markups, like the people that are doing like 10,000 markup, like plus accessories, plus whatever, plus whatever, like might as well go buy one another one of these. But yep, we'll see. So I'll check back in, you guys, right when I get there. All right, finally we are here. Oh, look who's here. See what happens. All right, so just got here. This isn't even the original dealership I was supposed to go to, um, but you know, they said they had it. So let's go see it for the sales guy. Oh, look at that. All right, so they are taking me to the back where the car is because they just got it and they have it hidden somewhere. All right, so just a little backstory. Roland mm -hmm. got it, and I got in contact and it was, this was before I went to the Baja 1000 and even while I was in the 1000 and we were chasing the race all the way down the peninsula to La Paz I kept in contact with him and was like is it there yet is it there are you sure you're gonna get it and check this out he didn't lie to me so this is like part of the first wave of the SIs 11 that came out it is still dirty because it just came off transit but <laughs> shit sick Oh yeah. Hopefully they let me take this off. They just have to PDI it. If you're not familiar with that, that's it's just some stuff that the dealerships do. Make sure, you know, kind of like a quality control check. But this is it. So coming from the 10 gen, I'm don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna take it to the extreme that I did with the drag car. But there it is. It's finally here. I'm ready to just sign it. Alright. All right, so while he waits, Nick, I got a question for you. Are you even going to test drive it? Nope. Why? Because I'm just going to buy it. There you go. Sounds good. I don't need to test drive a car that's slower than my test drive. <laughs> no test drive? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's a Honda, so at the end of the day, I know it's still good and reliable and it yeah, has its potential. So. Gotcha. Oh, nice. There it is. Look, they washed it. Brand new 11th gen, and they left the plastics in there for me. Yeah. 
have my monster. So this is it. Hold on, wait, wait. So today's date is November, November 26th. And, is it, and there, yeah, go ahead. And this is it right here. So he has the key. I'm not gonna try to put this in the <laughs> And again, this is Diamond Honda in the city of industry. Brand new 2022 Honda Civic SI for Mr. Oso Sick himself. And I don't know, this is looking really good to me, guys. In person, it looks a lot better. And not to say that it looks bad, you know, in pictures, but I think it looks a lot better in person. Well, I guess I guess you it's know, official. Wait, this isn't bad. I, I didn't want any of the accessory stuff, but that's pretty cool. So it's official, guys. It's official. Yeah, that's it. It's done. They can't can't change can't change my mind. No, it, dude, it, it's yours. You're putting your backpack in the car. Oh yeah. Second key. Got two keys. What chip shortage? They already know. We've got two keys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess since we're here. Just, what are your first impressions on it, dude? Honestly, my first impressions are insane. I, I'm cheating a little bit though because I already saw what they would look like uh, just because Team Honda Research and uh, their race cars and HPD, so the body in whites. But obviously, I saw it as a complete bare shell, and they have the cage in there. So this is like the first time seeing it as a production car, and it's still sick. Uh, so I can imagine what it looks like with the cage. I can imagine what it looks like with. I would see some Titan 7 wheels, and you already know I'm gonna have to go with that. Intercooler, downpipe. The exhaust, honestly, I like it. But don't... You guys are just gonna have to keep watching because now that I have the also sick e shop is open, possibilities are endless. Right, I don't have to work on the car on the ground anymore. I just got the lift. Um, but it's definitely not gonna turn into the Sicario 10th gen full drag car. I, I want this to be just streetable, take it to the track on the weekends. And honestly, just have fun with it. Probably take some people to get these. Go to Mexico. And yes, this is the SI right there. And with that being said, I mean, at the you time. Know what? I think I need to take off the plastics. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, these seats are way sicker than the tension. I'm sorry. And I still have both tensions, but damn. Like, I'm gonna be, I kinda don't even wanna replace them, but I'm going to. But maybe I'll throw these if they fit in the 10 gen, and then I'll have the sparkle seats in here. Can you imagine this with sparkle seats? So I haven't even sat in one yet, and. Oh, yeah, we uh, oh, and three pedals, no CVT. Let's pop. Dude, this is sick. This is nice. And you got Bose audio too on that? Does it? Oh snap. So this thing's your bump. Mm-hmm. Oh, I say the shifter feels really good too. This is just way different than the tension as well. Oh yeah. So a couple more plastics to take off. And then I know you guys want the first startup, but let me <laughs> let me get comfortable. I like, you know, I want to make sure. I'm gonna leave that on there. Why not? Even comes with the Ziploc bag and the sticker is right there. Oh, we're ready. You're well, ready. You're there's... ready. I'm ready. But you're ready as well, because just like I took you guys on the journey with the 10 gen, I'm definitely gonna do that with the 11 gen. And honestly, any ideas you guys have, you guys want to see or whatever, just let me know. But I already have the first show in mind to take this to, and. If all goes well, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be a mission, but it will be there. Oh, this is, dude, this is badass, man. Now, this interior, I love the tension, dude, but the, this is just. Oh, dude, I still have the tension. Like, okay, if you follow my channel and you follow all my stuff, you know I picked up a Supra as well. Don't say anything yet, but now that I got this in my hands, and obviously I wanna focus on this, but if he's watching, I don't think he watches all my videos, but my little brother, I'm actually gonna be giving him the Supra. So he's been doing really good. Um, guys haven't caught on again, like, so he works with me. And um, 
he's been crushing it. You know, he's been motivated. He's been working hard. He's he's not getting in trouble, and uh, hasn't gotten any girls pregnant yet. So you know what? Like, why not give him the super? It's a two seater. Doesn't got anything to worry about, and it's safe, reliable, and I'll probably have to detune it because he's young. But it um, stay tuned for that video too because I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna be really happy. Um, but for this man, it's not you know. Obviously, you guys got to keep in mind, as I've always said, Hondas out the gate aren't always the fastest when you compare it to all these other cars. But remember, CSEP weather. I'm calling Honda Pro Jason right now. Yo. Hey. Oh, why is it so dark? Where are you? Really? Green's not bad. Where are you? At a Honda dealership. Wait. Diamond Honda. Diamond Honda. Yeah. So now I have to go cancel the other one I bought because they had it first. I bought another one a couple days ago and they were supposed to get here. They were supposed to get here today. They called and said it's not going to get there until the end of December. So I found this one. Yeah. So I found this one. They're like, it's actually in the back. So I said, I'm on my way. In sweats. So I don't have the big Ultra Sick Media one, but I can't leave and drive without something on it, right? So for now, put my Ultra Sick the signature logo on there. Nice. Side skirts look pretty dope, and it's four doors. That's I prefer the four doors. You already know, you already know I'm not even gonna finish. I'm gonna keep it PG. Uh, the wing honestly makes the biggest difference. So I've already seen a couple 22 SI, uh, like the touring models and other ones. But I think that the wing looks really sick. Look down, got the dual exhaust tips. Uh, I'm ready to make that a little bit louder. Got the famous SI, aka Cisa Boile, right there. And honestly, the inside I think is where it's at. The redesign on this new generation is pretty dope. Still, same same amount of space it seems like in the back, but uh, on the driver's side. Driver's side, this is where the money is, in my opinion. These seats are sick. I mean, like, I wish a 10 times came with this. Uh, and then it has like the red on this on the side door panel too. Honestly, like, the interior is so good. I don't even want to gut it. Usually, I want to gut the car, and make it lighter, but this is dope. And my favorite thing about the 11th gen that I always liked when they first announced it is just like this little mesh grill right here. And uh, obviously it has better stereo system. The steering wheel is dope. Um, I need to mess with it to see if it has like lane departure and all that other stuff, but it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to race. I'm not, I need to switch lanes, not stay in lanes. Pop the hood. All right, so this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I care about. It is still an L15. My biggest thing I want to know is, can we put the parts from the 10 gen onto this? Can I take the built motor out of my 10 gen and put it in here? Will it work? Don't know, there's only one way to find out though. Should I really take this motor out? Y'all let me know in the comments, because I'm down. But aside from that, intake is a little different. That downpipe, easy access so I can go catless or something. Change that out, that'll definitely wake, up, wake it up and make it sound a little more aggressive. ECU, so you already know, if you've been following me, I gotta get the Honda out of flash wheel. That's the first spot I would do on any newer car, especially from 10 gen and newer, just because tuning really wakes up a turbocharged car. So only go with the best, only use the best, it's been proven. And to this day, my 10 gen, which is the fastest L15, is a Honda. So whatever they develop for the 10 gen, it's gonna carry on to the 11 gen and some, and I've already proven, and myself and many others have proven, that the Flash Pro is more than capable. And uh, they even have carb legal one, uh, Flash Pros, so that if you are uh, you know, worried about uh, smog emissions and stuff like that, especially in California, just get the carb legal one, man. It still wakes it up, still has it's fun to drive, but uh, you already know I gotta race these things, so. Uh, dude, these charge pipes are puny. It looks smaller than the, 
attention. Oh, we on. All right, let's go avoid the warranty. So thank you guys for watching, and if you've been following me since the Tengen, or even before that, you know, I started this channel in 2006, so if you've been following me since then, thank you guys, I appreciate you. Any new followers, you're welcome to join. Hit subscribe, I got some big plans with this, just like I did with my Tengen. I'm still gonna continue to raise the Tengen, but an even bigger shout out to Diamond Honda, because they allowed me to come pick up the first, at least, consumer-based owner, 22 Civic Si, the 11th gen. And I'm excited to really start driving in and get some real impressions. Maybe hit it, go to Mexico. Uh, it's still wide out, so we have enough time to go to Mexico and get some wide open throttle pulls and you know, see my reactions. I heard there's a lot of new features on here that I can't wait to, to feel and see how they work. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video. So as for now, thank you guys for watching. Remember, life's also safe, live it.